guys, it is Canadian Gee here, back with episode number 14 of the Buffalo Sabres Gmod franchise series here on the channel. In the last episode, we went through two months of simulation and got up to December 1st. And as you can see, we are a game over where I ended last episode. Same reason as before, I didn't realize I wasn't recording. I'll do my best to not make that mistake again. But um, there's a 7-1 win against the Florida Panthers. Um, I didn't simulate it. Oh, I did simulate. I simulated over it, but um, yeah, we're just gonna continue on. I've already assigned the scout. I've already done all that stuff, so we're just gonna hop right in to simulation here. We have a record of fifteen, eleven, and one. We beat Montreal five to two. Gerard Nevins is available to come back. Let's put him in for Kari Hatanen. He can go in there. Gerard Nevins, I believe, was a was acquired in the um, Rasmus Ristolainen trade, if I'm not mistaken. We beat Detroit four to three. Game against New Jersey. Oli Uholeve has a mild concussion. He's gonna be out till December fourteenth. Casey Vichel can go in there. Three two shootout win. Five two loss to Boston. Oli Uholeve is back after missing two games. Fitzgerald took his spot there. Okay. Uhulevi is in. Game against Ottawa. We lose 4 to 2. Game against the Rangers. We win 5 to 1. Game against the Senators. We lose 5 to 1. Game against the Penguins. We win 5 to 2 in back to back against Montreal. We win 4 to 2. Daniel Torgerson is back, eligible to be slotted in. I believe for for Nevins, he can go in. He's gonna go in there. Trade offer here's Zachary Lahiro for a third Winberg and, and a fifth. So a three next year, a five this year, and Alex Winberg for Zachary Lahiro. I think I have to do that, no? Let me check out uh, Hero. I have to do this. Former third round pick. He's still in the still in juniors. I have to do this. For Alexander Wenberg. He has 17 points in 28 games in the minors. I like our depth down the middle. We have Philip Chalpique to call up as a centerman if need be. Um, and even Soderblom. Like, we have centers here. That'll just add to our center prospect pool um, for a third and a fifth. So how is our draft pick? So we have one, two, four, no five, and six, seven. The next year, no three. I don't mind that. Especially if we're going to be trading Jack Eichel later on in the season or in the off season. I wouldn't mind that. I'm going to go ahead and do this trade with the um, Rangers. So we are going to be sending. Let me just put it, load up the uh, spreadsheet here. We're going to be trading Alex Wenberg. A 2024 third round pick. And a 2023 fifth round pick. In exchange for Zach. Le Hero. Going to propose that trade. Trade accepted. Zachary Le Hero is on the squad. I like that a lot. Okay. So that's okay. Second line unit can go to Evan Veerling. He, I believe um, Verlin was part of the Taylor Hall trade, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's get him in some playing time. So, pretty good par prospect acquired in uh, Zachary Lahiro. Um, when I was looking at it, like off camera, I was um, like in a potential Jack Eichel trade. And I, the Rangers did come up 
and the hero was going to be a part of that package. But if I can get him without giving up Jack Eichel, I'll, I'll do that 10 times out of 10. Or 11 times out of 10. Um, so we finish up the month 21, 16, and 1. Jack Eichel is leading the way. Even goals and assists, you like to see that, with 45 points in 38 games. How are the other um, guys doing points-wise? Uh, Reinhardt with 34. Cousins with 31. Olsen with 30. You like to see Milstadt with 28 points in 38 games. He's really coming into his own. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin. Jeff Skinner is falling off. Shane Wright, 20 points as a rookie in 38 games isn't bad. Jack Quinn, 16 points. Hamelin with 13. Um, the fourth line is disappointing points-wise, but... What do you expect the fourth line to do points wise? Uh, goalies. Line is Allmark. He's doing better and on a 7 save percentage in 30 games. Quick with a 924 in only 9 games. You like to get him some more playing time, but it's whatever. In the AHL, Uka Pekko Lukanen has a save percentage above 900. You like to see that. Tristan Lennox in 6 games is doing fantastic. He's doing really well. Uh, Points-wise, Philip Shalpik with 27 points. Pasuchov with 23. Boucher with 21. Kachuk with 21. Chaika with 20 in his rookie season of um, pro hockey. John Jason Pachurka. Ryan Johnson. Kachkov with Shenson. All right. Not bad. Um, there is one thing I did want to check out, and that was how our special teams are doing. So let's head back in here for one moment. How are our special teams doing? Uh, compared to the league. Um, so power play. We are. Looks like middle of the pack. Um, so yeah, about 15th. 19.2. And penalty kill. A top 10 unit. At 9. At ninth, I should say. So, power play could be better. Penalty kill, I'm alright with. Um, is there anything we can do to better the power play? Like, I like what we have here. Um, maybe take Skinner off since he's not having a great year. Um, how many power play points does he have? Three, three power play points. So he's not even doing much back there. Let's um. Let's put someone else back there. Um. We can put Hamelin in back there. Give him some time. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Or do I get Sam Reinhardt down in the second pair? No, I like that first unit. I think it's the second unit. That we would need to work on. But um, I'm good with that for now. So I think we can continue on. Yep, I have them gone until February 1st. So we'll just do that. And I figured out a new way to um, skip over the scouting so I don't bore you guys. I can just pause the recording. I figured that out in OBS that you can pause recording. And you can pick it up right where you left off without even making it look like you did anything. So, I think we'll try doing that. Well, I don't think. We will do that this episode. Um, and see how that looks fluidly. See if it's fluid or not, I should say. But continuing on with the simulation. Back-to-back -back wins to start off January. We lose 3-1 to the Jets. Game against the Rangers. We lose 4-1. Game against the Red Wings, uh, Rochester, Tyler Boucher, sore, sh sore shoulder. Really a sore shoulder, puts him out for two weeks. 3 nothing win against Detroit, 2-1 win against Minnesota. Game against the Bruins, 5-2 win, one nothing loss to the Senators in a shootout. Arizona has fired their coach, 3-2 shootout loss to the Oilers. Daniel Chaika is out till the 2nd of February. Game against the Blue Jackets, we win 4-3. Boucher is available to come back. So in he goes for Gerard Nevins. 
how much ice time is Boucher getting? 11 minutes. And he's putting up 22 points in 35 games. Is he on the power play? He is on the power play. Um, I do want to move him up. I just don't know where I could put him. Torgerson is listed as a fourth liner now. Interesting. Pachurka. He's still got some developing to do down there. Pasujov. He's looking real good. Evangelista, 20 points. Like to see that. All right. Ryan Johnson's up to an 80 overall. Didn't even notice that. Um, but wrapping it up here, game against Montreal. Game against the Canes. We lose 4-1. to one. So we finish up the month 28, 19, and 3. We're going to go up to the trade deadline, but we're not going to do the trade deadline in this episode. I'll leave that for the next episode. So um, I'm going to head into scouting, and I will see you guys when I am done. Okay, we are back. I wonder how that looks in recording. I'll have to wait and see. But um, we're going to go up to the 23rd here. Oh, excuse me. We're going to go up to the... Oh, let's go up to the 21st. The 21st of February to give ourselves some time, whether or not we want to make a decision to make some trades or not. Uh, defensively, Sean Leclerc, you are out. Daniel Chaika, you are back in. There you go. So simulating February, 4-1 loss against Calgary. 2-1 loss against Toronto. Game against Tampa, we lose 3-0. Game against Pittsburgh, we win 6-2 to end the four-game losing streak. Game against Minnesota. We lose 3-2. Game against San Jose, we win 3-1. Game against the Oilers. Miska Kukunen is out with injury. We win 4-2. Game against the Blackhawks, we lose 5-1. Game against the Blue Jackets to wrap up the episode. Mika Kukunen is as to come back. So we'll outgo Sean LeClaire. Let's actually get... Um, should we get Johnny Rupert some plans? He has five games played. He has some time. Okay. All right, so Ryan Johnson, how's he doing? Oh, he's doing really good. 34 points in 52 games. He's doing really good. How's Pekka Lukunen doing? 901. Not bad. It's better than his um, sub 900 uh, save percentages he's been having. Uh, we'll lose to Nathan to Blue Jackets. And that is where I'm going to wrap up the episode. We In the next episode, we'll go through the trade deadline. We'll finish up the regular season simulation and we'll get into the offseason or playoffs if we make it. We are currently in fourth place, five points behind the Panthers, and a point ahead of the Red Wings, Senators, Lightning, and Canadians. Jeez. It is an absolute race. We, we are one, two points back of being the worst team in our division. Um, we are four points behind a wildcard spot. Um, so we have some... Um, decisions to make but um we'll do that in the next episode i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did leave a like and if you want to see more content on what you just saw hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next episode